The Charger and then the BMW. You get a BMW, you pretty much made it. You selling dope, you doing something. A Charger or like some type of beefed up Hemi was also that dope boy dream. Yeah, what? It was a BMW. And I pulled up to the hood, they was like, bro, you got the BMW? Man, I packed out like six people in there. So now I got this naturally aspirated V8 Charger and I have this naturally aspirated V8 European BMW. And if I'm being honest, What's going on, YouTube family? It's your boy KQ, and this video is gonna be straight to the point. Today, I'm gonna answer a question that a lot of you guys be asking me, man. If you don't know, I am a American muscle slash European guy. What I mean by that is, I love my American muscle cars. I love Mustang, I don't love Mustang. I love Dodges and Mopars and Dodges, and that's it, you know what I'm saying? I'm a Mopar guy. So. I'm very hard on American muscle. That's kind of my roots. But then I'm also a European guy. You guys know I love the M6. The M6 took me to the next level, especially content-wise. Especially power-wise. So today I just want to kind of give y'all a video comparing the two. You know, saying what should you do, why I went for what I went for, and the difference between owning a European car and owning an American car. What's the perks, what's the benefits, what's the loss? Now let me tell y'all. I am no car guru. I am not an information specialist. Everything I tell y'all is purely speculation and thoughts and facts from me. I can't 100% prove anything I say. It's just how I feel. But anyway, let's get into it. So first off, guys, the main thing a lot of people ask me about is like, oh, what do you prefer? Do you prefer American muscle or do you prefer European? That's a hard question because both play a pivot role in my life and driving and cars and my upbringing. So European was kind of like my go-to car for like like power luxury and that eh, like like i did it i made it so before i had a bmw having a bmw was a crazy thing like i remember talking with my short and she was like my mama got a bmw it's like it was like dang a bmw was like the black man from the hood's car like you get a bmw you pretty much made it you selling dope you're doing something and on the other foot a charger or like some type of beefed up Hemi was also that dope boy dream because it was a car that kind of always looked at like bro you get one of them chargers that's the car that made the Hellcats and it's powerful it's fast you know that's kind of the way like that's crazy to have so I kind of have both perspectives with the cars now BMW was a bit more on the nicer side and honestly the BMW was the first one I had I had like a 19 I don't know like 98 or, or no maybe it's like a 2001 328 man it was a shit box let me tell y'all had cooling issues da, da, da. it was old but get what it was a bmw and i pulled up to the hood and they was like bro you got the bmw man i packed out like six people in there and you know it was cool i wasn't going for power back then it was just like oh i got a bmw then that was before i started making content or had a channel or anything then fast forward to when I was like, yo, I got to get this charger. The charger was away. I had a homeboy who passed away. His name was Johnny B. And he had a crazy charger growing up. So I always wanted a charger. Like, bro, the charger is crazy. So I went and found me a charger I can afford. And at the time, it was a Charger RT 2016. And it was like 27, 28K or something. But at the time, I was like, yo, I can afford this. I'm going to get it. I'm going to make it happen. So I saved up. I bought that charger and that's when I had my V8 grocery getter. You couldn't tell me nothing. First thing I want to do is make it louder. First thing I want to do is make my charger louder. That's the first goal. Let's make this car loud and then make it fast. But at the time, I didn't really know what fast was. So I'm thinking, you know, headers, tune, intake. I'm about to be fast. So pretty much going on that, it's like the American muscle dream was like, cool. I got this loud, ferocious four door car. It was crazy. It was powerful. The goal was just to beat scat packs, beat 392s in a Charger RT. That was the goal. Very small, very minimum. I was never on the Hellcat level, none of that. Fast forward, later on down the line, content started doing good. I was like, yo, my dream car would be an M6. Now, I had already bought a 650 after the Charger. 650 was another V8, but it was the European V8. So now I got this naturally aspirated V8 Charger, and I have this naturally aspirated V8 European BMW. And if I'm being honest, the BMW was just a lot better performance wise because the Charger can't keep up with the BMW. Now the funny thing is that BMW actually uses, I think an HP 70, it actually used the same, well the Charger actually used the same transmission as in the BMW, which is funny. Uh, chargers come with European transmission, some of them. So 
the Charger and then the BMW. Now, in my eyes, the BMW was faster. It was a lot faster, it was a lot quicker, a lot more reliable, and just a lot more luxury than my Charger. But the Charger was still louder, more aggressive, more meaner. So those were the two things. So if I'm putting car for car, then, you know, I'm not gonna lie, the BMW was faster than the Charger. But that's cool, that's just part of the game. You know, it kinda is what it is with that. So, later on down the line is when I kinda start realizing, all right, let's get an M6. And the M6 was my dream car, so I didn't expect to get this for years. Like, I ain't gonna get this M6 for a long time. It's my dream car. Plus, the M6 is like having a Hellcat, because now you got this naturally aspirated V8, and you throw a supercharger on it. It makes it the big, bad Hellcat. Well, with the big, bad M6, you have these naturally aspirated V8, and you twin turbo it, which makes it the M6. You know what I'm saying? M5, M6, the big M cars. Okay, Q makes jewelry. From watches to Cuban links to custom pendants, whatever you need, he got it. Tap in at Jewels by OKQ on IG. Let's get back to the video. So, getting the M6 was like a whole nother level because I always thought I was fast with these two cars. You know, before the 650, I had a 550. It was a dining package. That thing was quick. So I got got by a Camaro SS and couldn't understand why. Pissed, but because he was modded and you know, like I said, I thought that car was fast, but I didn't know what level I could really reach. So pairing those two, boom. Those are the two tiers between the two V8s. Now if we talking Hellcat and M6, it's a no-brainer. M6 all day. Why? Because it's twin turbo. So it's better. The car is just more snappier in a sense of it feels a lot better it moves a lot better and bmw underrates their car so it's a lot quicker than you would think rather than with the hellcat it's over hype it's supposed to be powerful it's aggressive it's loud so if it's not as fast as you think it's kind of under hypes you know what i'm saying so the 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 hellcat versus the m6 is no debate because the m6 is a lot quicker now the m6 isn't all-wheel drive and neither is the hellcat but they both have their perks. Now, the Hellcat sounds amazing. No car sounds better than that wine. I'm sorry. It's just, just hands down, they got it. And the M6 drives phenomenal. When I drive that car, it's like, I haven't driven in like seven months, but I feel so safe. You just, I just know I'm safe. It just, it hugs corners. It's reliable. It feels good. Suspension feels great. And the Hellcat's aggressive. When you see it, you're going to turn your neck and it sounds amazing. So it's all about what you're going for when you're rating these two cars. Now, for me, I wanted the M6 because everybody had Hellcats and knew they was fast and they was racing them and they was doing this and that. I didn't see nobody doing it with the M6. So me getting the M6 was like a sneak attack. When I pop out with the M6, they ain't gonna know what hit them because nobody's racing these cars. Nobody knows how fast they really are because nobody really have them. Then on top of that, it's a convertible. So everybody's gonna already underrate me like, oh, that's the M6 convertible. So when I started racing people and they started seeing how fast it was and BMW underrates their car, so they're like, how is this 550 horsepower car beating a 700 horsepower Hellcat, 650 horsepower ZL1, a Shelby with 650 horsepower, way lighter? Well, BMW's put the power down different and it catches, it, that car hooks and goes. The traction is amazing. Because it's turbo, it pulls in the air from outside, goes straight to it. Yes, it has a turbo lag. That's why you never see me dig racing it. I would always race it from a roll. 40 was a good roll because I'll be in a good gear. Like, I'm ready to go. I could be in second gear and then get a good acceleration and jump into third gear. And that thing moves. Rather than with, like, the Hellcat, you know, it was like, from a dig... When I was driving the RT from a dig, I would go sideways, all type of things. So the Hellcat gonna be the same story. Now, we ain't gonna say track off. That's gonna be a whole nother video. If we compare the track off to the M6, that's a good fight. That's a good battle. There'd be a lot more, but that, we'll say that for another video. Right now, we're talking about Hellcat and M6. We're talking about my first couple cars and the driving experience with both. But yeah, so I get a BMW to Edge because for one, it was a surprise. Nobody knew what, what it was. For two, they was underrated. Nobody seen them. And, you know, it just kind of caught people off guard. Now, driving experience with both is, you know, the BMW just feels a lot more safer. And price-wise, you could probably get a Hellcat for cheaper than you can get an M6. And it could be because, you know, M6s aren't that rare anymore. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't make them anymore. And, and, I mean, they are pretty expensive. It just depends. But... You can find a Hellcat for the low over M6, but the M6 come with all these different packages, all type of different stuff that you can kind of get from it. So 
Pricing is a whole nother debate that it kind of goes off what you want to spend and what you're comfortable, what you make. But if we talk in driving experience, you know, just me giving my overall experience on both cars, I would give it to the BMWs and the M6 and my 650 over my Hellcat and my RT because it just was a different experience as far as driving, as far as power, and as far as putting it down. Now, what I will say about the Charger is it holds up to his name. It's a beast. It's a it's a Hellcat. It's a, it's a it's a dragon. So I always got love for those cars because they're just they're just amazing. They're like the best American muscle car in my point. It might not sound as good as a turbo, but a supercharger sounds way better. Now we talking about just a loud car. I prefer to hear a turbo car over a loud car, but over both of those, I prefer to hear a supercharger wine over both. So that's kind of my wrap on those four cars. And I'm gonna do another video comparing my two days, which would have been the M6 and the Trackhawk, because now we in a whole nother league, because that Trackhawk is a different type of beast. And that's a good car to compare to the M6, price-wise, performance-wise, and everything. But if we're preparing the Hellcat to the M6, I mean, it don't hold a candle. And the problem is, when we compare the Trackhawk to the M6, is now we need to go M5, F90, all-wheel drive to make it a full comparison. But we'll just see how that kind of goes. But I want to give you all a breakdown of, you know, my experience with V8s, with superchargers, with turbos. Y'all always asking me, how do I feel? Why did I pick this car? Why did I pick that car? It kind of just happened. The M6 was my dream car, but the Charger was the car I always wanted growing up. I know that's kind of weird, but the Charger was the car I always wanted. I seen somebody with it and was like, ah. Oh, I gotta get it. But the M6 was like my dream car that I wanna mod and make fast and actually show out and actually make a statement and a point with. So you kinda got it kinda got different tiers, but yeah, I ain't gonna take too much of y'all time. I just wanna give y'all a quick rundown on my opinion on V8s, supercharger turbos, BMWs, and chargers. I'm at the gym about to walk in. But before I go in, I had to give y'all this. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, I'm about to get ready to head in the gym. I just wanna give y'all this rundown real quick. It's your boy OKQ and I'm about to go make some content. Of me hooping. Hope y'all ready for that. Let's get it, man. I love y'all. Hit that, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. I, I can't be forgetting that. Okay, cute giveaways. Don't forget to comment that. And if you a day one, I love you for life. And if you just got here, I still love you for life. Let's get it.